Hello there. While waiting for a client to arrive for a viewing here, <clears throat> um, I will take this opportunity to create a short video to answer one of the question my American client was asking. He was saying why in Malaysia has so many titles in the real estate industry. I was I was puzzled. What do you mean so many titles? Do you mean you receive um, name cards which saying that they are real estate negotiator, they are real estate agent? Oh, no, he said, no, no, no. I saw most of you has real estate negotiator, team leader and all those things. But his question was, why is nobody using the words broker and realtor here in Malaysia? So, I've done a little survey from the internet thanks to Mr. Google and here is the verdict. Um, it was saying, okay, broker is actually our REA, real estate agent, where you are entitled to own your own firm, to hire real estate negotiator who are the realtors to work under your firm. Broker here, usually we use in Penang, Usually they are part-timer who they earn a referral fee from the transaction that they have dealt with an estate agent or with the owner directly. However, I'm not outcast any unlicensed broker here. I've worked with some brokers, they are professionals, they have their good great network and um, to cut the long story short, we have a lot of names in our name cards however most important matter for you as a client to choose and pick which agency or negotiator you will want to uh, engage with for whether your agent is from a legitimate company and also they are licensed as well we have rules and we have laws to abide as a real estate agent. So-called also good business conduct and also a good business ethic. That's all for today and um, here's about REA, real estate agent, PA, probation agents and also REN, real estate negotiator where you can find a lot of us is real estate negotiator where we have to work under an agency. That's all. Bye.